Welcome back to Cruising Calypso. In this episode, we look at three more boats for under $150,000 that you can cruise in. Come on along. Hello and welcome back to the channel. The other day I received a comment from a viewer and subscriber who was asking what is a good cruising boat today? As you know on this channel we have highlighted a number of cruising boats both new and used um, but in particular what he was looking for was a boat that he could potentially repower. Um, for those of you who remember back in the day when there were Trojans and Carvers available those boats were good cruising boats. They were reasonably priced a couple here you can see as I'm speaking and often they would cruise at 15 to 18 knots you know today's boats however with with twins triples quads and quints you know you can see cruising boats that will make 50 knots and that's both a lot of gas and a lot of money so this week we're going to take a look at some more cruising boats on the used market um, between um, 75 and 150 thousand dollars and see what we can find stay tuned so this time when we look at this price category I pick boats that are a little sportier boats that might be a little bit faster a little bit more fun um, if you take a look at the first video we did that actually has more boats from 75 to 150 e we looked a little bit more at more traditional cruising boats boats that have more space the these boats are a little bit different. We have a Sea Ray, we have a Formula, and we have a Whaler, and they're just a little bit sportier. So let's take a look. Our first boat is a 2005 Sea Ray 320 Sundancer. Now this particular one happens to be in a very striking red color, which probably was not a um, stock color, it was probably custom ordered, but the Sundancer is a great boat. Um, she comes equipped with twin 350, Mer cruisers, which are 300 horsepower a piece, and they typically can be found for about 85,000 to about 120,000. There's sleeping room for four comfortably, and she has an excellent cockpit uh, for um, good outdoor activities. The helm is sporty and comprehensive, and you will find um, a very up to date and modern interior. These boats come equipped with a forward double berth and a mid cabin, which can, can be converted to a double. And while these aren't actual staterooms, they are curtains to provide some level of privacy between the two sleeping occupants. A Sea Ray 320 Sundancer will cruise in the mid to upper 20s, depending on load. Our next boat is a 2009 Formula 350 Super Sport. Now, being a little bit newer than the Sea Ray, this boat's a little bit more expensive. She lists for $139,000, but you can probably find these boats, depending on year, anywhere from about $120,000 to about $140,000. Now, Formulas are the sport boat of this group. They are known for their style, and above all, they are known for their hull coloring, which is paint, not gel coat, so they're absolutely gorgeous. Like the Sea Ray, she has a forward sleeping area and a mid cabin although because of her shape you can see there's less space and this is actually a convertible um, forward berth rather than um, one that's permanent she has a galley and she also has a reasonable head it's a wet head but there is room for a shower and that sort of thing so this boat would be very stylish and it would be very in the same line as the Sundancer 320 last boat in the price category of $75,000 to $150,000 is something different. It's an outboard powered Whaler 305 Conquest. I chose this boat because it's something different in the sense that it has both cruising accommodations and outdoor activity accommodations like fishing. It is outboard powered and typically found with en twin engines anywhere from 250 to as much as 350 horsepower. Now as a result of that power this boat is going to be faster than the Sea Ray in the formula, um, both because it's smaller and it has less accommodation, so it's lighter. But um, as a price point, this particular one is a 2005. 
Um, Whaler tends to command a higher price, and so this boat is priced similar to the formula at 139,000, but as you can see, while the fit and finish is excellent on a Whaler, it doesn't quite have the same cruising accommodations as the, the Sea Ray and the Formula do. So I hope you enjoyed this look at three additional boats at the seventy-five dollars to $150,000 price point. Right. These are different than the first boats we did, but please leave in your comment, leave in the comments below, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you.